today we're going to build a 12 volt pump with a pressure accumulator tank. Uh, I'm going to use this pump, it's going to be used for my, for my garden, for my irrigation system. But you could use this for a small cabin. Uh, you could use this, like let's say you have a, a cistern or any place where you get water and attach that water to this uh, tank that we're gonna build. Uh, yes, you could pressurize your house and through your cistern uh, and work a pump with 12 volts while your car uses, okay? So let's get started. Let's see what's inside here. First, this is the 33 series C flow pump. Okay, this is uh, three gallons per minute, 45 PSI. Okay, 33 series. This pump is tiny, but don't let the size uh, fool you. Okay, these things are powerful little pumps. I know because I've uh, been doing this for a while. Okay, here you go. This is your C flow. This is a diaphragm pump. Now this is a trick. If you if this pump is gonna pump into another tank with a float valve, your diaphragm. I don't recommend using your diaphragm uh, pressure switch because this has a, a a pressure switch once it reaches around uh, thirty eight. 40 pounds, it'll just like click, it'll shut off or whatever, uh, because it has a, a automatic, a, an automatic pressure switch built in, okay? So it has a pressure switch built in, this little knob right here, you turn it for more pressure, you loosen it for less pressure, uh, but we don't touch that because this pump comes set up at 45 PSI, okay? So we're gonna leave this pump as is. The only way I would touch this is if this pump is gonna pump into a little tank, that has a float valve, then I would uh, increase the pressure here and I would put uh, a separate pressure switch. Uh, AC pressure switch would work just fine. Uh, you just adapt it for, uh, you know, DC, which is uh, what that does is just disconnects this and then connects it back on. Uh, but we're not gonna do that application, so I'm not gonna go into that. Uh, the pump comes, with a small micro mesh filter and these two connectors. We're gonna use these things, okay? So let's open up the accumulator tank. Okay, for this application, I'm gonna be using a water worker six gallon tank. Uh, the trick is to take this, put it up here, I gotta find out. It usually lines up with, you see these holes here? These small pumps, they usually line up. Uh, see, like this one here is lining up just fine right there. And uh, this tiny little pump is gonna go right on top of there. So I'm gonna have to be looking for screws uh, to go here. So like I said, that goes there. This right here, this is where you adjust the PSI on the tank. Uh, now here's the inside scoop. For these pumps, uh, you have to use, I believe it's 18 PSI for this type of tank. Like, you know, if you're gonna hook this up to this, it's 18 PSI. I would dare take it all the way up to 20 pounds for this tiny little pump. If the pump is a C flow seven gallon per minute, I would even dare take it to 24, okay? Uh, but I wouldn't exceed uh, 30 pounds. 30 pounds uh, would be pretty much the normal for a regular AC pump. 28 to about 32 pounds would be for a regular AC pump. But this is a 12 volt pump, so we're gonna be hooking this up with 18 PSI, okay? So we're gonna use a test gauge to set it up to 18 PSI. Uh, on the other side, we have a three quarter NPT uh, connector right here. 
There's different types of applications on how you could do this. You could use one of these PVC uh, uh, tees that has a threaded thing on this side right here. And you just attach this right here. Then you put two reducers here. Uh, then the two little half inch pieces here. And then the pump goes here, pumps water in. It has uh, a rubber bladder inside. The water goes in, creates the pressure, and then it holds about six gallons of uh, water in here, pressurized, then it pumps out. Why use this and not just this alone? Uh, this right here is gonna uh, increase the, the pump's life, okay? Because it's gonna pump less. Okay, let me just focus this a little bit. This is gonna be the biggest pain in the ass right here. Make sure you have like some needle nose vice grip or something because if you don't have at least a needle nose vice grip to try to put those little nuts way in there, you're gonna be cursing up a storm. You'll get it done, but cursing up a storm. So I just wanna show that right there for a second, okay? Because that's gonna be a little bit of a pain in the ass. Okay, Louis up. Okay, I'm back. Once we have our pump on, okay, the pump is on right now, the direction of the water is this way. There's an arrow here, the water goes this way. So we put in our micro mesh filter where the water is gonna go in. So micro mesh filter first, water goes through here. I hooked up the street elbow right here because the water is gonna go down to the bladder I'm using this piece right here. I'm not using these because I already had uh, this. You know, I have a whole bunch of spare parts. Okay, then another street elbow goes here. Water goes in through here, goes down the street elbow. There's gonna be a hose right here that I'm gonna put right now. So these pieces don't really need uh, Teflon. They just go in like this. So we're just gonna build this like right now, like really quick. Forgive the wobbly table. And just to speed up, I just did this. Okay. Look how nice this pump is coming out. Then we just squeeze this here. So, micro mesh filter, water goes in through here. Street elbow, okay, this is threaded inside, half inch MPT. We're gonna tighten this baby up. See this, this is no big deal. Uh, but these pumps work really well. Right now my home uh, works on two of these pumps, okay? I have a 5.5 uh, and I have, let me just adjust this right here. Just loosen this up a little bit. So I'm gonna tighten this up. Okay, there we go. Bring that up a little bit. You get the idea. Again, water goes in through here, pumps the water, water comes down through here, then water pressurizes the tank. In other words, there's air back here, and then there's a rubber bladder in here. And then it pushes that bladder against the air inside, and then this hooks up to your uh, home, cabin, or whatever. And then when you turn on your faucet or whatever, it's pressurized to 45 PSI. These pumps work awesome. I know I've been using these pumps for a while. Uh, 
my little pressure thingy here uses funky batteries it's not working but this is set up at 18 psi and it's set up right here you use one of those tire those car tire uh, pressure gauges uh, you can remove water just by squeezing this little thing here like that so you make it to 18 if you took out too much you just take a air pump pump in more air and if it had if you have an air pump with a gauge you could actually set it up perfectly to 18 uh, psi like no problem but here we go look how nice this pump comes out and uh, that's it so uh, if you decide to build a pump like this uh, for emergencies or for anything or you decide to uh, do anything off-grid and you want to pump water using very little power because these pumps use very little power I believe this one uh, it says it right here amps 8 amp max uh, pressure 45 psi uh, this is a three gallon per minute pump okay and liters per minute if you want to know it's 11.3 liters per minute so there you go look how nice this pump came out I call this the super pump because you can pump water with very little power okay